Hey, what's going on everybody? It's uh, it's your boy Jardy Hardy back again today with a little bit of a different video. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but I figured we'd gotten to a good enough point to where now would be time to do it. And I will continue to do these as I add more and more. But today I'm going to go over a brief overview of my entire silver collection to date. And this is as of November 25th, 2020. So what I want to start with is my is my silver jewelry and I will get right back to that as soon as all this is cleared up. Alrighty, here is what I have so far for jewelry. I know buying silver jewelry isn't really worth anybody's time, but I like it. I like wearing it and it's just nice. Anyways, I found this really cool ring a while back. It's sterling, but I scuffed it up trying to do something with it. So it's just kind of scrap now, but uh, it's about... 10 or 11 grams about 10 or 11 grams of silver and i paid like six bucks for it so i made money on it right there so we got that ring this was my first ring that i ever bought when i was getting into jewelry it's 18 karat gold plated but the rest is sterling it's just like a, a few grams of silver there so not worth what i paid for it but still a start uh here was the next ring that i bought this is just regular sterling it's about six grams still not worth what i paid for it but I wear it all the time, so it's worth it to me. And then this was my graduation gift from my mom. It's actually a uh, a Walking Liberty half dollar turned into a ring. It's a 19, 1943. I love this ring. It goes on my right hand, and it just it's so very nice. And then this was one that I bought because I just love the design of it. It's a 1926 uh, S. Uh, standing Liberty quarter ring. This fits perfectly on my pinky. I think it looks pretty good there. And then here is my necklace, my chain, I guess you could say. I believe it's 22 inches. It's about half an ounce of silver, just the chain. And then I got a pendant to put a SLQ on the bottom of it. Just, it just, I think it looks really good. It's complimentary to it. This happens to be a 1925, but uh, yeah, you know, just standard SRQ in the bezel. I think it looks really good. And next, we're going to move on to my bullion coins. Scratch that. Actually, uh, what I wanted to do next was actually my, my silver fork and spoon. I bought these a while back. I eat everything with them simply because it makes me feel cool. But this is my sterling silver spoon it's got an 1895 patent on that which i think is pretty cool oh hello there the spoon is about 1.8 ounces after you account for the sterling part of it and this is my fork it is it's a international sterling i think it's the yeah it's the wild rose this is about 2.1 ounces after you account for the sterling part it's it's a little longer than my fork than my spoon and a little thicker as well I love these very worth what I paid very much worth what I paid for them now here's when we get into the actual good stuff uh, right here I have two one ounce silver bars this was actually the very first silver bar that I ever bought I got it on eBay when silver was still pretty cheap about eight or nine months ago I got this for about $19 which it's now worth a little bit more than that but still a very good buy and this is my Christmas one ounce bar very reflective very shiny But it's still nice and then here are my Boyan coins. This is a quarter ounce SLQ design I bought this simple because I just love the way it looks and it looks really nice It has it has some nice toning to it. I love the way it looks and then this is my one ounce Boyan coin version of it. It's got some beautiful toning to it as well. You can see where the the quarter ounce sits on it right there but and this is my american eagle ounce that i got it's a 1998 this is just my generic ounce this was the second ounce that i ever bought one ounce there and then here is my rob finds treasure one ounce uh silver i bought this because i just thought he has a pretty good design on it and it was you know just a nice collector item very nice and then we'll move on to the coins next that's my you're gonna love this uh now on to the best part of the show i think but before we open up the old bag here 
Yeah, sounds beautiful. We're gonna do something special with that. But uh, right here is the very first silver coin I have ever gotten. My mom gave this to me uh, about 10 years ago and she told me to take extra special care of it. This was when I was first into collecting coins all that time ago. I didn't really know too much about it, but I thought it was interesting. But she gave me this and told me to take good care of it. It's actually got a little bit of a, uh, it's, ro it's a rotated die, that's what it is. Uh, normally it's supposed to be directly straight, but when you turn it over, the eagle's kind of twisted, the entire back is. So that's kind of interesting, but this is a 1944D. That's the very first silver item that I ever got in my life and I love it very much, that's why I have it in this special case. So yeah, now let's get to the, uh, this thing is, this thing is quite hefty. We'll get right into this. So yeah, I hope you like that. Uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is separate these out a little bit and then we'll go into a nice overview of everything that we have here so you can get a better idea of what we're dealing with. Alrighty guys, uh, I have them all separated out between the types and the face. So I also forgot to mention, I had bought this spoon originally, this little tiny sterling spoon it's like a it's like four tenths of an ounce or so and then i have this little one gram silver bar it's just some little cute but uh anyway so we'll go through right now these are my silver war nickels these are 35 percent silver i think i have 42 of them the this is like 30 something the rest are in my silver or the rest of them are in my nickel books the uh, i have I have all years and all mints, so I'm not missing any. Uh, right here are what we like to call barber dimes. And then these are the older, these are the older dimes. And then I have a nice little stack of mercury dimes going from 1916 to like 44, I believe. And I think the barber dimes are like 80, 1886 or something like late 1800s to 1916. And then I have a nice stack of Roosevelt silver dimes. I have like 55 silver dimes total. And then right here we have Barber quarters. These look really nice next to the Barber dimes. And then this bad boy, of course. And then right here are my absolute favorite coin. It is the Standing Liberty quarter. It's just so nice back when uh, coins were actually pretty. I have seven of those, six right here, but then the other one on my necklace. And then this is my stack of G-dubs. I think total I have 35 quarters. And uh, right here is the Barber Half Dollar. So I have all three, the dime, the quarter, and then the half dollar. And then these are the beautiful Walking Liberty Half Dollars. That's what makes my ring over there. This is also my my other ring over there. And then uh, here are the Benjamin Franklin half dollars. So old Benny boy has been on other money other than the hundred. And then we got the 90% Kennedy halves. These are all 1964. That's the only year that were made of 90%. And then over here are the 40% Kennedy halves. These uh, These go from 65 to 70. Oh, I also forgot over here. I completely forgot. I have a 40% Bicentennial quarter. I only bought this because I love the Bicentennial design. And I just figured I'd have one made with a little bit of silver. And then below it is the 250 annivers 250th anniversary of George Washington's birthday. This is a 90% silver half dollar as well. 
so it's very nice it's got Mount Vernon on the back there and then of course the PSD de resistance of any silver collector is his dollar coins I have four piece dollars from 1922 to 1925 and here is my Morgan dollar it's nothing special but I just figured I'd have at least one it is a 1921 San Francisco very beautiful these are the ones that you want everyone loves the Morgan dollars they are very nice but I choose not to collect too much of them I'm more of a a half dollar and a quarter kind of guy I like I like them a lot better than the dollar coins although they are very nice so what I'm gonna do now is do the hard calculations and figure out how many ounces of silver I own and then do the price with today's value alrighty guys so I just got done calculating the entire value of every or no I just got done weighing up everything excuse me and we got the total amount of weight on all of it from the jewelry on over to the coins and everything in between I weighed up the jewelry and tried to get the most accurate numbers that I could so I'll take you over to the computer and then we can run through the numbers alrighty guys so I got the numbers put into a notepad over here we could probably yeah we can zoom in on that a little bit uh, so for the coins I came up with right at 23 and a half ounces and for the bullion, obviously it's six and a quarter ounces. That didn't have to do too much with that. The jewelry came out to about 1.61 ounces. I did round up and down a little bit throughout the measurements and weights just to make it a little bit easier. So we won't get a 100% accurate number, but you almost never will. But we got it about as close as I could. For the 40 percenters, uh, I got about 2.16 ounces. That's with the uh, the quarter and then all the half the forty percent halves, and the silverware. I don't know if I spelled that right. I could just be stupid. Anyway, excuse that if I am just brain dead. But uh, we got three point three ounces. That's with the little mini spoon that came out of the bag as well. Adding that onto it, and that gives us a grand total of thirty six point eight ounces. And uh, this is. This is as close as I could get to what I feel is accurate. So what we're going to do now is go on over to our melt value calculator. We're doing this in troy ounces and with uh, pure silver. And this is uh, the way we can do that is because I weighed everything and did the calculations to do it as if it was the pure silver weight. So for the 90% coins and stuff, I did the total weight for them and then just divided that by nine to get the actual silver weight or multiplied it by the 0.9 obviously to get what it would be if it was pure silver and didn't have the 10% copper or whatever it was I did the same thing for the jewelry so what we're gonna go ahead is put the 36.82 ounces in at today's price 36.82 ounces at today's price per ounce we have 855 USD dollar of silver eight hundred and fifty five dollars in silver so yeah the goal is to try to hit a thousand we're getting there we need right about 27 ounces so we need to get like two or three more ounces to be consistently over a thousand dollars in silver so yeah that's very nice we're getting there remember to stay tuned for any coin hunts and searches that I may do and everything else and I will see you guys in the next video I thank you all for watching